Hello, good people of YouTube! Mountbatten here, and welcome to one of the most confusing and... Ooh, weird and oddest and probably one of the biggest letdowns of the year so far when it comes to games. And that is Saints Row. Now, this is a game that... When it was announced, I wasn't, like, super duper mega hyped for it, because I've never really been a huge Saints Row fan beforehand. I I've watched playthroughs of 3 and 4 way back in the day. Um, and, like, you know, it just seemed like a kind of a GTA um, satire, which GTA is a satire, was supposed to be a satire of, of course, real life. And this was kind of, like, very tongue-in-cheek, taking it to the next level with some over-the-top um, action sequences. What happened here? Over-the-top action sequences and some... Um, and that, that, that's, that's the thing, too, the writing. The writing the, the writing in the other games and the dialogue and stuff wasn't ever, like, super clever. Oh, did I just get my truck stuck? Nope. Okay. Wasn't, like, super-duper clever or anything. Um, and one big critique of this game that you'll see uh, a lot, at least recently, is that the writing is very cringy and such, which, I mean, again, like, the, the writing in the other Saints games wasn't exactly, like, Shakespearean, but I remember watching um, other people play through it, granted, again, not playing it myself, um, but yeah, it, it's, it's, I don't know, they've kind of taken it in this game, and... It seems that they're aiming it at an audience that's, like, just below, um, my age. I'm in my late 20s, and it seems to be that they are aiming for, like, um, 20, 19, 21-ish, like, fresh out of college, that type of age group. And it seems to be that they're trying very hard to appeal to that age group. Uh, with this game now um, I'm sure you see, you've all if you've been looking at this game have seen a couple of clips of some of the dialogue and stuff and yeah it, it's all pretty much true I just came in to buy some shoes by the way uh, I finally have like a decent amount of money so I can buy um, a different outfit now oh which by the way um, nothing but the other Saints games is that they're all like kind of um, risque shall we say or um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I've been up for like uh, almost uh, 11 hour, 11 hours at this point. Um, kind of risque. Um, uh, whatever. When it comes to some of their humor, and that's not really here in this game. I mean, one of the weapons in uh, the previous games was a giant. Um, how can I say this and still get monetized? A giant um, toy on a stick, shall we? And this street right here is about how far it gets in this game so far. I'm, I'm about four hours into it. And you got a little bit of it here on this street. But so far for the rest of the game, it's been pretty absent. So the humor's definitely changed. So if, you, so if you were into that, that they're raunchy. That raunchy style of humor that uh, oops, the other games had. It's not here anymore. And the driving, the okay. Yep. See, like the driving and the physics are so off. Everything feels the same. Like th this giant truck that I'm driving right now, I could take uh, this. In fact, I will watch. First off, this truck could just do that. I can take this. Uh, I don't know, freaking Chevelle-looking thing here. Excuse me, not Chevelle-looking thing. Well, who are you? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I can take this um, sedan-looking thing, and it drives pretty much the same as the truck. Like, all the vehicles feel the same in this game. Like, they all handle pretty much the same. They're all very floaty. This game's physics are exceptionally floaty. And I don't know if that's the Saints Row thing, because, again, I haven't played the other games. But it seems to be that this game is... Oh, there's that again. That it's just so floaty and... I mean, it's, I am on PC too. So, like, you know, driving on PC with mouse and keyboard isn't that great. 
but like this is a little bit faster than that giant truck, but it still feels about the same. Like I can still just turn on a dime here. Whoops. And then that's it. Alright, so let's go play a mission or two just to show you guys what the game's like in terms of combat and stuff. Um, and I'll talk more about the game as we get going. I don't want to spend too much time just ranting as I drive around the very... That's another thing, too. Th th this world is very empty. Like, it's big. Don't get me wrong. Like, the, the map is... The map is massive. But it, it, there's just not a lot to do so far. Like... In GTA and other games, I, I would be out exploring and such, but it just feels really empty. And the world doesn't feel too, too alive either. But anyway, let's go play a mission, shall we? So also, the basis of the story is that you've got three friends that you're all living in an apartment together because you're poor from student loans. I, I kid you not, that's a main plot device. And you, you've turned to building a criminal empire to pay back your student loans and uh, get out of paying rent. And... Again, like, the way it's written, I could see how it's kind of, you know, poking fun at, uh, at, uh, millennials and stuff. Or, you know, millennials are in, like, are in, like their 30s now. Uh, Gen X, Gen, Gen Y, whatever you want to say. Um, but then another way it's written, I can see how it's kind of not, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, you guys will see in a moment. And See what I mean about the physics? Y you just... That man blow up? But you, you got three friends, uh, Eli, Kev, and Nina. I think that's how I say your name anyway. Um, and they were out. Then there's you, and uh, Kev and Nina were members of two of the three gangs in the city. You were working for what's technically technically the third gang, which is a military contractor. Um, and now you've decided to basically say, screw them. We are making our... Hey, it's our, it's our Romji Street again. Uh, we're making our own gang called the Saints to take over, and um, yeah, that's where, basically where I'm at now. We've just got our HQ, and now we're starting to do some of the the Empire building stuff. Also, if you're wondering why it's so quiet throughout this video, I had to turn off the licensed music, but apparently all the music in the game is licensed. There's like two or three tracks that aren't licensed, apparently. But everything else is licensed, so like when I'm driving around, I, I, it, it's just nothing. And I hear the game's very poor um, sound design by then too. Like, the sounds that they're okay, but there's just not enough of them. Like, there's not enough sound layers to, uh, um, hey, well, Eli. oh, Holy this is interesting. Shit. What are you wearing? <laughs> Should I be concerned? Well, the dust moot event is upon us, and I need to join a house if I want to see the best action. What are those real words? What's a dust moon? What is a Get dust moon? Get in the car and I'll tell you on the way. All right. With this card, is this like some Mad Max, Mad Max role-playing type of stuff? The dust moves to citywide LARP every year. Ah, oh, of course. He's a LARPer. Let's get you suited up. What's wrong with my current look? Thou lookest like a knave in thy garments. I spent sixty-eight thousand dollars on this jacket. I do not look like a knave, sir. Like? Take LARP gun. Try it out. Shoot someone. Um. All right. You. Ow. Oh. Oh, okay, he's alive. I thought he just <laughs> perished. Weird. But cool. Now you're ready to play. Let's go join House Duststorm. Duststorm shall welcome us with open arms once we torch thy beacon. Yeah. On guard, shite lords. Let's get smiting. This is a pretty neat mission. Show me what you it's want. It's different. So what happens if I do this? Is this like supposed to be like a lethal takedown now? Oh, that's funny. Okay, that's pretty neat. Wait, can I actually take their like money? Even though they're not dead? <laughs> Hell yeah. Ignite fire. I mean, that took a lot of effort to to do. Like, I mean, I've made a couple of homecoming bonfires in my time as a teacher, and that's a... Uh, that's a lot of work that we're just burning right now. I just want to know if I can blow up the car with the nerf dart. That's all I want to know, really. Oh, whoops. Shooting Eli. You got it, Eli. I just want to see if I can blow up a Honda with a Nerf gun. Pew. <laughs> I bite my thumb at thee. 
Oh, that's from Shakespeare. I remember that. That's from Romeo and Juliet. I don't want to die. It's over here. What are you doing over here? Oh, wait, those are my own car. I blew up. What do we call our house? Whoops. We need a good name. We'll take one of theirs. Inspired. House San something. House Sandy Kraken. Yes. What? Seriously? We're Sandy Kraken. I've it is memorable. Like, this mission is charming, but at the same time, I don't know, it seems kind of forced. Like, how they forced the same thing into uh, um, Hawkeye. That Disney Plus uh, show with Hawkeye from the Avengers. They, oh. How all the first responders were actually just a bunch of LARPers on the weekends. I don't know. They really just make like, what, there's literally one character model for this mode. No, for this mission. I'm sure there's supposed to be some nice background music to this too, but all I get to hear is my uh, PC fan in the background. Well, I'm screaming. Yonder pedestal? Come here, yonder pedestal. Bottle caps. Hmm. Why is there a box of bottle caps? Huzzah! You have found quite the book. Fallout reference. Cool. I really looked right at this one and just mimic. Calm down. Don't touch it. Two nine nine to open. This is the uh, the war gaming chest. Hey Eli, what's this two ninety nine stuff? Tis but a microtransaction. Check thine coin purse for funds. Not seeing any duct tape, Eli. I'm mean, funny they were the the literally made me pay for it, like with the uh, in-game money. You must slay the beast to retrieve the treasure. Slay the That's beast. Oh. oh. I shall enter through its gullet. And I shall wait here, for I am claustrophobic. To kill the beast, you must burst the polyps inside. Polyps? I can't tell if that's disgusting or whoa, awesome. Whoa, whoa, what happened they there? They cancer awareness month, and then it just stuck. They just phased through the floor. I, I don't know. I guess I stepped off the side. What happened there? Up here, then I jumped up here. Oh, okay. Whatever. I see you would pull up. I must reload. What? Oh, duct tape. Now I can take it. Now that I shot the last pull up. This is a shit ton of duct tape. Now, fell beast, void me from thy fundament. Whoops. Eli, I got the duct tape. Got the duct tape? I guess we're gonna create our own house. Aye. Together, we shall burn Gwen and House Phoenix into ash. And have a fun bonding experience, right? Mmm, yes, that as well. Uh, can I take this RV? Yes, I can. Lol. All right, so that <laughs> the sad thing is that's literally been the most creative mission that I've seen so far in this game. Um, yeah, and that th th we're about four hours in. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see what else we can do. All right, let's see what Nina wants. Nina. I understood some of those words. On my way. Need a faster cart. Like more trouble in town. I don't like that shit. A Freeze, okay, he didn't care that I just took his car. All right, cool. Okay, yo, how do I turn these lights off? Hold up, I'm going blind. All right, I get. No, didn't mean to get out of it. No, come back here. I guess that's one way to turn the lights off. I literally just walked up to the cop, took his car, drove off, and I don't think he even noticed. Did my one level even go up? Oh man, the AI, the AI in this game is not great either. If you can't tell.
I shot that car two times and it blew up. Alright, so here's the church, which, are, which is like our little gang HQ. Well, not like, it is our little gang HQ. I'm still working on fixing it up. Let's go get my car back. You want the wheel? And try not to drive angry. Let's take the less banged up truck. Let's see. Here's the culvert. They won't be happy to see you. Oh, hello. Die over her old car. <laughs> okay, that's not gone well. Got Wolverine over here. You got no place here anymore. Not this pistol. This is our party, Saint. Jeez, yeah, the combat's just weird. Very, very, very sensitive aim, even though my mouse is literally turned all the way down on sensitivity. Oh, jeez. Oh, yo, hold up. Ow. Oh, what, I got a reviver? Oh, well... Hmm. Your motherfuckers are dead. Now. Hold up. On fire, apparently revived her. We're good. All she have these moves that you can. Oh, these abilities where you can. Oh, apparently they're not available right now. Why does this guy's got armor on? Let's try this guy. Hello, sir. Nope. Oh. Yep, there we go. Shove the grenade in his pants and threw him. He turns into a cloud of pink mist. Problem solved. Get him, Nina. You, you missed. There you go. Hold up. I want to get their money first. Oh, fine, fine. I guess I would be a little upset if it was my car, too. Get in the monster truck. What if we're too late? Sergio's people are professionals. Cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. Drive over so all their cars. Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble. Monster truck is pretty fun. Yo. It's like a double bounce on a trampoline there. Hello. Interrogate Gabriel. Okay. Hello, Gabriel. I'm here to interrogate you. Hola, Gabriel. Where's my car? Oh, never mind. She is. No digas pendejadas. We both know you chop Sergio's special project. I don't think he's going to talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait. What did you say about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. But fuck up their car. They're nothing. Wait. Hey, what? there's a... Officers here. Oh, there's a lot of cops here. Nina, can't be serious. Hold up, N Nina. The police are here. We have some issues. You can't do this. What happened? Can I, can I, does it really want me to like change it? If I paint it like pink. Oh, my paint job, my oh. <laughs> paint job. That's how it's done. Really glossy, okay, okay. That's pretty, pretty neat. Man, how many different layers of paint do, does he have on this thing? Hey, okay, Ota! Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? Hold up, hold up. I gotta, like, no, no, remove no, 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 no. his... his... Hold up. Hold up, I wanna take his hood scoop off. I wanna take his hood scoop off. There you go. Screw your air intake. Well, what the fuck? I just spilled the beans! Um... Can I put, like, itty-bitty tires on it? 
told you what you wanted. Leave my car alone. Go. We're going to put some extra low profile on those. Are you I you will have talked. no grip on your uh, on your wheels anymore. You're going to have the base rims, bud. And um, oh yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I just squatted your car. Okay. Oh, I gotta drive this thing? <laughs> Look at the tires! He doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for scrap. You mean he's gonna... Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. Look how small the tires are at the back. Hang on. I got all kinds of pantomimes for our ass. I would have made it a little bit better if I knew I was gonna have to drive this thing. Oh my god, that's a... Turret. Let me take my gun out. Uh oh. Time out. Go, little tires, go! Just let me use my gun. Oh, we, we have a time limit. Oh, uh. About nothing slowing us down. Okay, uh. This is gonna be an issue. I need one of your cars. This one looks good. Excuse me. I have to go save Nina's car. Goodbye. Oh, Nina, so glad you could work here to join us. I also think we're, we're down a tire in this truck, too. Okay, we made it, I think. Mm, coyote. Oh, that is not the car we left in. Oh yeah, I forgot. Nina has like a really neat car. No! But now you have an excuse to buy another project car, so. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know. It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Hmm. My mom. But when Kimo made her weak. I drove her around. See, and like, it gets like super serious all of a sudden out of nowhere. I just made someone's tires on the I rear of their car the I size of a Hot Wheel car. car's tires. And then they, they go and drop this on you in the middle yeah, of all that. Me. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. It's got all fast and furious here out of nowhere. Alright, we're continuing Nina's mission chain. Gotta go meet her at some factory now. So, you said you have a plan? Yep. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how exactly? Today is the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue day. Everybody will be outside for lunch. The factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, I know where they keep the oxyacetylene tanks for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom. No more forge. Blimey. That is a plan. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. Take this car. This car's a lot faster than the factory. truck. By liberating a helicopter from the aerial gun range. The what now? It's a tourist thing. They hire out helicopters with machine gun turrets, then fly them over the desert and shoot whatever might be out there to shoot. This is for fucking real. I know, right? Fine. If stealing a tourist assault helicopter gets me inside the factory, 
whatever. I do know a bloke I could borrow one from, but his rates are pretty high. Hi guys, nice helicopter. Hey, you need a ticket. Uh, here it is. So, this forge thing we're blowing up, it's the giant furnace Lost Bundles used to make all the custom gear and weapons and send for their cars. Turn. That'll cut no strafe. Okay. It'll do more than that. It's one of the easier power control patterns for uh everything Los Banderos are supposed to be. PC helicopter flying. We're gonna rip out his heart. I'll hit that ah Ruin Barbecue Day. Hello fellas. Oh, I'll use the missiles. Like there we go. Didn't expect an aerial assault at tea time, did you? Christ. No, I, I think this might be a little bit extreme for gang warfare. Oh, now it gives me some music. Apparently, according to uh, the bottom right, this is melee. They have attack helicopters? What? Playing bumper cars up here with Apaches. According to the game devs, this is supposed to be more grounded Saints Row game. I don't feel very grounded at the moment. I feel like John Wick had a more measured response to uh, having his dog killed than Nina does to having her car get smashed. We'll have to go in through the vent. Which vent? This vent? That seems mighty tight. Ow, ow. Here, let me do the little call of duty. Okay, never mind. Okay. Let one car go and it wrecks like half of them. That's efficient. Did I get more rifle ammo? I did, thank god. Oh! I don't want to be on front of the car. Oh, oh. So these are how you normally regain health in combat. You do these cool little takedowns. You like half of your health back or something like that. It seems like the, the combat isn't terrible. It's just that it's it's meant for like a big open environment. And they keep putting you in these situations where you get in very close quarters. But look, this, this is a one dodge roll. And you look how much you move in one, one ball. But... Yeah, we're in this cramped area, which it looks big and open, but like really, really, it's not with how much you have to move around. Unless you just want to absolutely eat. Oops. Hey, no, that, no, no, get off, get off. No, I need your health. Thank you. I just keep doing this. Ha. <laughs> There are no match for droidicas. Yeah, there's no stamina in this game, so I can literally just keep... <gasps> I can just keep doing this forever. So why you don't stand near the it's explosion? Good, you got an FPS Russian. Glad you were here. Holy shit. It's Sergio's monster truck. Didn't I destroy that thing? I told you, Sergio can use the forge to build anything. What is it, the Star Forge? The dead now. Oh, ow. Ow, that's my arm. And my head. Well, take this, sir. The electricity died. Need you to reset the power relay. I'm busy at the moment. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Give me your health. 
Oh, I'm gonna be standing with fire when this is over with. Oh, you're a big one. Oh, you're really big. Oh my god, I thought I was just zoomed in. You have so much health. Oh, you're the frickin' arsonist. Yeah, you do. Yet I do. I defeated Melania, Blade of Mikola. You are nothing to me. Okay, maybe something. Why is this gun such a bullet hose? Not the good type of bullet hose either. Oh, that's unfortunate. Thank God, jeez. Oh, I wanted to use her big hammer. The fuck are you doing, Nina? Esto es por ti, mamá. She's got an automatic too. Probably leave, yes. That was me levels of crazy. Now, what was your exit plan? I planned that you we follow the waypoints. Very too. easy. Oh, right then. Follow me. What's this? Crash test track. You mean exit? Track. Can you get that car working? What kind of question is that? Watch my back. Ow. Oh, Nina, could you get it working fast? I, all I have is a pistol, and there's a lot of, a lot of angry gangsters out here. It's been one more second, Nina. Ooh. Hold up, I gotta put a hole in this guy's heart first. Okay. I am in. Let's go. Whoosh. Why don't we take the helicopter? Why is that just explode? I just bumped it. I just bumped it. it. Oh, okay. Speaking of just bumping things. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. Just a little taste of this new game that you probably heard quite a bit about. Um, Like I said, we played probably two of the better missions. And if those missions were a little lackluster f for you, then, uh, yeah, I don't think you need to worry about picking up this game or anything like that. Most of the other missions that, that we played were very linear, very turret section -y based, very just go here, shoot bullet sponge dudes, rinse, wash, repeat, or again, just, you know, ride in the back of or top of a car and shoot everyone while someone else drives. Like, turret sections that felt straight out of, like, 2009, for some reason, are everywhere in this game. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one.